Today we are going to explore the fascinating world of color addition and subtraction. We will see how light creates colors and how pigments absorb them and how this connects to the colors we see every day around us. Let's start with light itself. White light is not just one color. It's actually made of seven colors. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. We can see this clearly in a rainbow where sunlight is split into these components. This is known as the spectrum of visible light. The three primary colors of light are red, green and blue also called RGB. These are the building blocks of all other colors on screens and digital devices. When combined in equal intensities, these three colors RGB produce white light. This principle is what allows our TVs, phones and projectors to show millions of colors. By mixing two primary colors, we get secondary colors. For example, green plus blue gives cyan, red plus blue gives magenta and red plus green gives yellow. So these secondary colors are very important especially in printing and digital displays where they help produce the full range of colors we use every day. Color addition is when different colored lights overlap to create new colors. The fundamental rule is that red plus green plus blue equals white. This additive process is central to how we perceive colors on digital screens. Every pixel in your phone or computer screen uses this principle to display color images. In digital devices, colors are represented using RGB values where each value can range from 0 to 255. By adjusting the intensity of red, green and blue, we can create any color. For example, red is 255, 0, 0, while yellow is 255, 255, 0. So this system allows over 16 million possible colors, giving us the rich variety we see on screens. Color addition has many real world applications. In stage lighting, designers mix colored lights to create moods and effects on TVs and computer monitors, Pixels use red, green and blue light to produce the entire spectrum of colors. Even LED lighting uses RGB technology where mixing red, green and blue LEDs create any desired color of light. Finally, let's look at how everyday objects get their color. Objects appear colored because of selective reflection and absorption. For example, a red rose looks red because it reflects red light and absorbs all other colors. A green ball reflects green, white objects reflect all colors while black objects absorb them. So this is an example of color subtraction in action. So objects get the color through selective reflection and absorption. The color of an object doesn't only depend on the object itself. It also depends on the light source shining on it. For example, under white light, a red apple looks red. But if we shine only green light, the apple would appear black or dark because it absorbs green and doesn't reflect it. On the other hand, under red light, the apple would still appear red because it reflects red wavelengths. So this shows how color perception changes with the light source. Now let's talk about color subtraction. This happens when pigments or dyes absorb certain colors from white light and reflect the rest. The color you see is the reflected part. For example, yellow pigment absorbs blue light but reflects red and green. 
This principle is the basis of how paints, inks and dyes work. So unlike light mixing which adds brightness, pigment mixing makes colors darker because each pigment subtracts part of the spectrum. Here we see how yellow is formed by color subtraction. So white light contains red, green and blue. When this passes through a yellow pigment, blue light is absorbed. That leaves only red and green to pass through. And since red plus green is perceived by our eyes as yellow, the final color we see is yellow. So the role of yellow pigment is to subtract blue and reflect red plus green. So red and green are reflected. Now let's see how cyan is formed. White light again contains R, G and B. When it passes through cyan pigment, the red light is absorbed. What remains is green and blue. So green and blue are reflected, which combine to form cyan. So cyan pigment looks cyan because it subtracts red from white light and reflects the rest. The third secondary pigment is magenta. In this case, the green part of the white light is absorbed by the magenta pigment. The remaining red and blue light, they combine to form, yeah, this is red and blue, they combine to form magenta. So the magenta pigment looks magenta because it subtracts green and reflects red plus blue which is equal to magenta. So in the CMY subtractive color system how do you get red? First of all what is CMY? C stands for cyan color. M is magenta and Y is yellow. Key is K stands for key. It's the dark color, it's black color, which is added in printers. Now, how do you get red? You get red by mixing magenta and yellow. Why? Magenta absorbs green leaving red plus blue. Yellow absorbs blue, leaving red plus green. Okay. So when combined, they, they subtract green and blue. So when they're combined, what happens? Green and blue are subtracted, leaving only red. So red is magenta plus yellow. Now, cyan plus yellow is equal to green. Why? Think about it. Cyan absorbs red, leaving green and blue. Yellow absorbs blue, leaving red and green. So, when combined, they subtract red and blue, leaving only green. So green is obtained by mixing cyan and yellow. To get red, you want only red light remaining after subtraction, right? So combine magenta plus yellow. So magenta absorbs green, leaving red and blue. Yellow absorbs blue, leaving red and green. Together they subtract green and blue, leaving red only. So in the CMY system, cyan, magenta, yellow system, red is equal to magenta plus yellow. So color addition versus subtraction. So the process in color addition is to combine the colored lights. And in color subtraction, the process is to absorb specific colors from white light. Primary colors in color addition are R, G and B, red, green, blue. And in color subtraction, we can say cyan, magenta and yellow are the primary colors. Okay. 
so result of mixing them if you mix r g and b you get white if you mix c m and y you get black so what are the applications color addition is used in screens whether it is computer screen mobile screen projector stage lighting and color subtraction is used in printing and painting to conclude both color addition and subtraction are essential for understanding how colors work color addition is used with light sources like tvs computer screens and projectors color subtraction happens with pigments paints and inks together these two processes explain almost everything we see in the colorful world around us summary of the session white light is made of seven colors which can be split like in a rainbow red green and blue are primary light colors combining them makes white light cyan magenta and yellow pigments absorb one color and reflect the rest mixing two primaries create cyan magenta or yellow which are key in printing and digital displays